Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now February 28th of 2024, and given that all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company are going through a lot of changes, all due to Bob Iger and the fact that he's wreaking havoc on all divisions like Lucasfilm, Marvel Studios, Walt Disney Animation Studios, is only the beginning. We know that there's a lot at stake here when it comes to what Bob Iger likes to call his legacy or his reputation. If you even want to say that he has any of that at all, I actually say that he doesn't. He's the worst CEO of all time over at Disney, even outperforming Bob Chapek as the worst CEO when he was running the show. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So just last week we began to talk about how this shakeup was happening between different board members and executives over at the Walt Disney Animation Company, as well as those associated with Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios, and how. All the live action projects related to Disney are pretty much going into a downward spiral due to this ongoing shakeup that is growing every single month. Now, one thing about all of this is that we know that Bob Iger and his cost containment plan has been truly wreaking havoc at all the divisions over at Disney. We know that Marvel Studios is taking a big hit on that for the 2025 slate of movies and TV shows. And let's not forget about the 2026 slate of Star Wars projects that are also getting hit by Bob Iger. Well, what's interesting about this has a lot to do with a Disney president that was recently fired and how he actually reacted to the whole series of drama happening by the board of directors, Bob Iger, and different executives over at Disney. Let's discuss. Now, with Bob Iger's cost containment plan wreaking havoc at all divisions of Walt Disney, one major development has to do with Disney's president, of course, as you guys may have known him, as Sean Bailey, and his reaction after getting fired slash laid off Due to several factors as Bob Iger not only is playing the scapegoat game, but is also seeking to spend less at the company. It turns out president of Motion Picture Studios, Sean Bailey, was recently fired over at Disney after Bob Iger pulled the blame game on Bailey as to why many recent live action films failed. Now this includes films like The Marvels, Ant-Man 3, as well as Indiana Jones 5, just as an example for those not meeting the box office expectations. The shakeup reportedly came on quite rapidly, starting just last week with those like Bob Iger and the rest of the board making the decision and the call to fire Bailey as the president of this segment of Disney by replacing him with David Greenbaum to take on more live action roles. It turns out there were many heated arguments that took place after Bailey was fired and let go from the company and demanded a good word to be put in for him over the years through multiple executives and board members. Now those these demands of course by Sean Bailey, Disney recently agreed to put a good word in for him with those like Alan Bergman even providing Bailey acknowledgments of his previous work over the years that garnered billions of dollars in the past. Now, what makes the drama even more complex is that Bailey was fighting Disney after he was removed and fired as president of that segment of Disney effective immediately, where he wanted to remain on three projects as a producer. Now, Disney's Bob Iger refused to allow this to happen and held no negotiations until recently an agreement was made where Bailey was allowed to have one last ride with Disney as a producer for the new film Tron 3, also known as Tron Ares. Another film that is also set to establish Bob Iger's hidden agenda and his strategy and the usage of DEI, which will certainly only create a worse legacy for Bailey's final exit. Now, with Bailey already fired as president of that part of Disney and holding a grudge against Disney overall after he was let go, he was fighting to stay on as a producer for the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean remake as well as another Marvel-related film for 2025 that Disney refused to keep him on board of that as well. This is reportedly, of course, Bob Iger's idea to point the finger at someone else with Bailey now out and Greenbaum replacing him over the live-action material, and that division in specifics, of course, to take care of the majority of the 2025 slate of films and beyond. Now, Bailey is also preparing to make a direct statement against Disney about his creative differences with those like Iger and the board and other executives and those over at Lucasfilm, Marvel Studios, etc., with their direction of the latest film and television shows. 
Bailey's statement is reportedly actively in the works that is going to expose new truths about the struggles of the Walt Disney Company and all of its failing divisions over, of course, at that part of Disney the past couple of years. This was all organized by Bob Iger to divert attention away from him being the main source of the issue at Disney. Now guys, let me just stop here before I get to something. Now, what's interesting about this is how basically Bob Iger, like I said before, is most certainly playing the scapegoat game. And we all saw this coming. This is what we talked about was going to happen a couple of weeks ago after this shakeup between different executives and board members and Bob Iger at the center and how now it's beginning to spiral out of control. So now you got David Greenbaum really stepping up to the plate to take on the live action stuff. And Sean Bailey is out on that part of Disney. He is out as president of the motion picture aspect of Disney. That's no longer a thing. He's only sticking around as a producer for Tron 3. A grueling negotiation that he was going through, he was trying to stay on at least three more movies for either throughout this year, leading into 2025, and then, you know, calling it quits. Now, what's interesting about this, though, is the fact that Bob Iger is this desperate to the point where he has to point the finger at Sean Bailey, someone that really made, even before all the woke nonsense, made Disney billions upon billions of dollars, all right? Now, sure, they're gonna make him as the main source of why the Marvels failed, why other material failed out there, like Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, and that's just the beginning. Bob Iger and the board are putting the blame on him, but they're not just doing that, they're also doing this as a way to save money, basically. They're gonna pay David Greenbaum on a different flat amount compared to Bailey. And this is all about his cost-cutting measure as well. And this is exactly what we talked about months ago, about how 2024, it's all going to be about firings, it's all going to be about restructuring the company and right-sizing the company. It's not just for projects that will be purged or canceled, whatever have you, but this also applies to employees. Whether you're on the corporate ladder or whether you're, you're working at the, at the actual theme parks around the globe, or on the set of a live action or animated film, it doesn't matter. Bob Iger wants to really reduce the amount of people working for Disney to reduce spending. That's what it's all about right now. So this executive, I think is really a big deal. The fact that they got rid of this president of taking control of all of the live action material. Now on top of this, this is what Bailey is having an issue with, since he was surprisingly against some of Iger's extreme agendas spilling into the live-action projects for Pirates and others for Disney's animated remakes as well, and also Marvel and or Star Wars-related material. Now, obviously, he's pointing towards Snow White, right? All of those animated movie remakes becoming into live-action films are nothing more than a push for... Disney to establish their agenda. That's what it's all about. We know this, they know this, and that's exactly why Disney is failing with 2025's full of expensive failures. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.